In this video, I'm going to show you how you can distribute class notebook pages and collect them back in using the assignments feature in Microsoft Teams. Now, there's quite a few benefits to doing it this way. One of the main ones is it's quite fiddly and complicated to distribute out a page and collect it back again. I'll show you the way that you might have currently already been doing that. So in class notebook, inside Teams, again, it's not great in here because it's not full screen. Let's make that a bit bigger. Um, I can create a, a create a page in my content library. It might be a piece of homework that the student has to do. And I can use the class notebook tools to distribute that page out to the student. So I can distribute that page out. And then once it's pushed into each student's area, I can then collect it back in again using the review student work option. And that, that will allow me to flick through the student work. Now the only problem with that is you don't have an official mark book or comments inside Class Notebook. It's far more informal, you know, I could write some notes on here, I could work with the students, so it's great for classwork and it's, it is great for some homeworks. However, if you want a more formal way of setting the assignment, then we can also distribute pages out, not just through Class Notebook, but through the assignment section which gives us a very similar experience but makes it much easier for staff and for students to work with the class notebook. So to do that we go to the assignments tab and inside here we create a brand new assignment. So I'm going to create a new assignment and I'm going to give this assignment the title um, exactly the same title that we, we put inside the class notebook but instead of them um, being able to send me a document, I'm going to try and encourage them to do it inside the class notebook. So I'm going to add a resource, select class notebook. This will show me all, all of the sections that I have um, inside the content library here that I can then distribute out to them. So it's under homework and it's my question about uh, Lenny's dream. So I can decide which area I'm going to push it into each student section. So very similar to distributing it. So I might say I wanted to put it, go in the homework section. And students can edit their own copy because it's going to push that page out into each student's area. But the nice thing about this is I can actually um, mark it and the students can complete it without even having to try and locate that page. They can just do it through the assignment app. And I'll show you the student experience in a minute as well. So I can schedule that for a date and time, let's say Wednesday at five o'clock. I can give it some points and I can add rubric grading criteria. I'm going to add this one here. And um, we've been through this in other online sessions, but which are definitely worth checking out. But I'm just going to attach one that I made earlier um, as part of my marking scheme. And I'm going to assign that to those students. So let's see what it looks like from a student perspective. So if I go to uh, my assignments, I can see I've got this new assignment now about the, the dreams. And if I click on it as a student, and remember you can do this from the app as well. You don't have to be using a desktop computer. Fantastic experience from the app. I can see this is the question that the, the uh, teacher sent me. I can see the grading criteria, so I know exactly what I need to achieve to get those, those grades. And you can see here that there's a link to the Class Notebook page. And if I click on that, that will open up Class Notebook and it's going to create an area for me to reply back so I can write my answer here. So let's go ahead and write an answer back about Eleni's dreams. So I've gone ahead and I've wrote my reply back to this, put in some high planks as well. I've done that from within Class Notebook. It saves automatically as I go along. If I close that now, it takes me back to the assignment and I can come back and I can work on it again. I don't have to do it all in one go. When I'm happy with my work, I can press hand in and I'll hand in the work officially to the teacher. The teacher knows I've done it. You get a nice random animation of a rocket or a bullseye uh, when you click hand in. So let's now switch back to the teacher and see what the teacher sees. So I'm now logged in as a teacher again, the teacher who set the piece of homework originally. And one thing you'll notice if you go to the class notebook tab and we go down to Susan who completed this piece of work, 
let's find Susan. If I go to homework, I can see that her homework is now inside the class notebook, just as if I distributed that page out to her, she completed it and sent it back to me. So I can see it inside class notebook and I can look at it and read through it here. But the best way to go to it and to grade it is through the assignment app. So if I go to review now, I can see that if I find the correct piece of work, I've got loads on the go here. I can see that Susan's turned it in, um, nobody else has. If I click on Susan's work here, I can actually see a live view of class notebook. If I want to, I can annotate and highlight here, add some comments. Maybe she's done a really good paragraph there. I'm going to insert a, a sticker. There we go, some nice work that she's done there. I can highlight these, I can comment on them, I can grade them with my pen if I wanted to. And in the right hand side, what we've got in addition to just editing in Class Notebook, which we had using Class Notebook anyway, is I can now officially grade it using the, the Teams assignment options. So because I'm using a rubric in this particular case, I can actually just select the rubric. I can select what points she, uh, what uh, criteria she met. That will automatically grade it because I've set up some auto grading there as well. And there uh, she's got 88 out of 100. I'll give us some feedback um, on the spelling and grammar. Great spelling. And when I've done that, I can give some official feedback on the whole overall assignment. Uh, great essay, Susan. Well done. And if I need to, I can adjust points there. I can return it back to her. So I've created those that official grade, official um, points and feedback that I've given her, but it's still within the class notebook as well. So again, it's quite nice that she gets flexibility of using class notebook, but it's officially marked and commented on inside the assignment app. So I've got some official um, grades there. And once you've filled that in, then you can export it to Excel. It becomes part of your mark sheets, just like all your other assignments, even though it's done within Class Notebook. And just to quickly show you what Susan's, um, what Susan's going to see, if I just refresh the page now that it's been marked, she'll get instant notification of the comments and of the grades. You can see here that it's, it's been marked, it's popped up as a notification. She's got the app or mobile device, uh, uh, mobile app installed. She'll get... Um, a notification on those on those devices as well. So I can view the assignment here and I can see that it's been graded. I can see the, the points that I've been given. Um, if I look at the criteria, I can see the feedback on that particular criteria as well. And I can click on the work and I can see the work inside Class Notebook. I can see the stickers and the comments that teachers added. Um, you'll notice that I can still edit it. It's not locked for editing. Potentially a teacher could go back in there and they can lock it for editing if they wanted to. Um, but that's one way of using Class Notebook and Microsoft Teams assignments together in one place. Um, and hopefully getting the best out of it and making life a bit easier for teachers and for students when using Class Notebook.